Going in depth now on the threats being made against several of our area schools, something we were just covering here. Well, Fox County's Dana Winter sat down with a licensed counselor on how parents can help prevent these copycat threats. And for more about these copycat threats, we're joined now by Dr. Roger Rhodes. You're a licensed therapist here in the Greenville area. Thank you so much for joining us Thank today. You. you know, we just spoke with our Carrie Beal on Friday about these copycat threats, right. and it's something that we saw over the weekend. Seeing these threats, does, does that really surprise you, or what's your reaction to that? Well, it doesn't surprise me at all. I, I pretty much spoke at Friday of saying, this is going to happen. You know, it's all about the need for significance. I want to feel significant. And so how many people out there need to feel like they're somebody that don't feel like they're anybody? And here was an opportunity for them to jump on. Well, they jumped on. I remember on Friday you were talking about listening to your kids. So, right. And then we were talking just now, and I said, what questions should we ask? And you said, we don't want to play 20 questions because no. that's not going to be a good solution. No, it's a bad. Kids get asked all the time, and they learn how to lie. Mm -hmm. If we don't think this generation is good liars, we have lost something. But the one thing they're missing is the ear. You know that I've got people who listen to me. Don't listen at me, listen to me, you know. And then once you've stated something, being able to say, what does that mean? What does it look like? So you get an idea, get clarity. Clarity is very powerful. And sometimes you have an idea of what the answer is, but that doesn't matter. It's what is the, do they believe the answer is? And does it look like something that then the parents could hear or our authorities could hear and say, okay, I, I understand what that means. I know, I understand what that looks like. For parents who might be watching this tonight, what are maybe just three things that they can do tonight, maybe tomorrow morning when they're all getting ready for school and work, that they can do to start making this difference for their families? Number one, when you say I do, you're no longer single. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing they need to learn, okay? It isn't all about them and their agenda and what they want. It's about the family unit. Number one, what do we need to do to have a unit and am I willing to invest the time, the money, and the energy to have that? And when they do that, great things happen. Definitely a lot of things that parents can take away from this conversation. Dr. Rhodes, thank you so thank much for joining you. us. Yeah.